Deep Woken, the game of choice for my fellow no-lifers, more specifically, the trial of one. Any average Deep Woken player probably knows what this is. What is it, you ask? There's no time for explanation. The Trial of One is a collection of challenges that serve the purpose of jumpstarting your new character's power level quickly. You must do the Trial of One immediately after spawning in, bathing in all your freshy glory. Now you're probably asking, Gamma, why are you making a video on this? The Trial of One has been out for years. I am a deep woken noob. I have yet to conquer this task and rise above the horrors within the chambers. So in today's video, I'm forcing myself to do the Trial of One over and over until I can successfully beat it. Keep in mind, I knew a few things when I first began the trial. I was aware it contained some monsters like a Sharko and the Thresher, but most tasks remained a mystery to me. Nonetheless, character creation time. And since the only goal here is to be the trial of one, I will be picking stuff only to assist me there. So heavy weapon it is. I am simply better than all of you. I'm most used to Thundercall, so I'll just channel my inner Thor for the trial of one. Upon entering this disgusting torture chamber looking place, I immediately was stripped of all of my possessions other than my weapons. Not like I had anything anyways, I looked pretty homeless. Fortunately, I made sure to hit up the GTA barber to get a fresh cut beforehand. The first trial was a parrying trial. The white orbs would fly at me in slowly increasing increments, and I needed to channel my inner Skywalker to deflect them easily. This might be harder than I originally thought. Well, no time to waste. Into the void of the depths I shall fall. Let me tell you, each time I walked up to this door, I felt like that one photo of that stupid ass homeless ant. He has the bindle and shit. Yeah, that's a 10 out of 10 representation for each time I had to revisit this place. I suffered many painful deaths on the very first challenge. I even thought you had to spam F instead of pressing it once per wave. Eventually, I conquered the first of many challenges. Oh. Oh. Yeah, trial was my bit. Oh my god, I'm crazy. <laughs> Next up, the Sharko. I fought these in previous lives, but never so weak. I also cheesed them using the wall on the viper's jaw. Or like... What the f oh, I love Deep Woken! The Sharko is actually really easy once you get a hang of the moves. They do the swipe thingy, and you gotta guess whether it's one or two swipes. It's basically gambling. Did someone say gambling? And they also kick, scream, and open fire at you. Nonetheless, I am the true warrior of the land of the Woken Deep, and thus I emerged victorious even after some coaching from a friend of mine. Oh my god, I'm crazy. Oh my god, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Oh I perfected it. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Next up on the list, the golem. I mean the Hulkbuster. I mean the fidget spinner. And yes, before you say anything, I do run when it does the spinning attack. I know you can parry it, but like the true deep woken warrior I am, I must conserve my brain power for future encounters. Once you learn you can parry every move but the fisting of doom, the golem is light work. It was also at this point I realized I was dying a lot. And on each death, I would gain the respective echoes. But then my neuron activation began. If I'm doing the trial of one, and I don't care about anything else, then why don't I farm echoes by putting on every modifier that doesn't change anything about the trial of one? <clears throat> so with my Mega Mind Warrior persona, I equipped it a ridiculous amount of modifiers, thus making my character someone who is broke, suffers in the depths, and can't swim, and more. Now I get extra echoes so I can become very epic warrior very slowly. Next up, the lizard, the thresher. But you are forgetting, fellow viewer, for I am the true warrior of the Woken Deep. So I be light work of these threshers, easy moves, lame attacks, no personality. I fought these on another slot in the wilds, so I was very familiar. And after demolishing that stupid lizard, and cooking it for dinner, and devouring it alive, it was time for the next task. The angels. They saw me eating the lizard, and have come for my soul. Now these angels, they posed a problem. There are two, and I'm a noob. You only need to grip one of these to pass the trial. But if I tried to grip one while the other was alive, I'd be interrupted. Now I'm not good at this game, so I knew I couldn't down both. And using my warrior brain, I realized I could work smarter, and not harder. The Attunement Flame Charm has a passive where those who are on fire while knocked down are killed automatically. Since the angels are brain dead, they don't really dodge to extinguish the flames. So I began to use Flame Charm. Even if I could ignite one of them and knock them down, I would emerge victorious. Eventually, after many, many deaths, it worked. I downed an angel, and they were engulfed in my flames. This is the most accurate image of how I was feeling during my victory. But we are not done yet. Oh, I also met this guy in the Fragments of Self who was debating buying Second Wind, which is like 10 actual dollars. I tried so hard to peer pressure him into doing it, but he was broke. No Bobux. Up next is Iron Man, my worst nightmare. I suffered an insane amount of deaths to this creature. I think I spent one whole day dying to him. And the worst part was how far he was in the trial, so it was a grind to get all the way back, and I would mess up on the way there. You see, lots of creatures in this game you can dodge, find alternatives and weaknesses and whatnot, but not the Enforcer. This man blows a red card in your face and says, N uh by forcing you to parry trade to defeat him. And so, I had to get good. The hardest task in any game ever. 
Throughout the parries and dodges, I alone and the trash one. Man, why can this thing faint attacks? God, that is so annoying. Look at this one time. It was Flame Charm Enchanted. That means I would ignite and have to roll. So I was cooked. I, could, I had to roll, but I'm supposed to parry. But if I roll, I couldn't parry. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to let this one play out. What am I supposed to do when it's the enchantment that ignites you on fire and you have to dodge, but the whole point of the mob is to parry trade it? I'm going to lose it. I'm going to... I'm actually so pissed because I just beat the enforcer and I hit forgot to hit record. Look, here's proof that I did it. I got his axe. Oh my god. My next strong foe was the Desert Knight. This thing was so insanely hard, but for me, not harder than the enforcer. The only major issue I had with it was the stupid kick move. It was super fast and you needed insane reaction time to dodge that thing. The way I beat this stupid Lego sand looking thing was telling myself this. Assume every attack is going to be a stupid kicking move. And if it was, then I would be able to dodge it. If not, the other attacks were slower for me to readjust and do what I had to do to parry them. With this in mind, I had defeated the Desert Knight. I knew there was only two trials left, but I was certain I would conquer the trial of one on this run. I'll let the live gameplay version of me take over for the rest of this bit. Only two more, the hardest is behind us. We now have the parry check, and then the parry check plus the shark go. My bonus for being able to defeat it on this run. I got an Enforcer's Blade when I fought the Enforcer on this run. This would be so fucking nice. But I have to make it out. But I am a true Deep Woken Warrior. Nothing will make me falter. Alright, here we go. Ultimate trial, baby. Push for- Oh shit, that was fast. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god! Oh, I did it! I did it! Oh my god! Did you see my health? <laughs> I did it! Oh my god, I did it! And so, I emerged from the trial of one as a reborn warrior. Stronger physically and mentally. I also really wanted to take that enforcer's sword and bank it, so I did just that. And as I sailed back to Etrus, I thought about my dangerous journey. Just as I reached Etrus, I saw a loot bag in the water, and like the little goblin I am, I decided, why not grab it? And then I forgot, I had the modifier enabled where it made me unable to swim. So I was literally about to drown and go to the depths right there. And by some miracle, I told myself that I was built different, and I recovered. I turned in my sword, and I went to the depths to wipe this character because of my awful modifiers. But instead of wiping, I awoke in a mysterious land. The one people call Layer 2. Perhaps this was a challenge for the far, far future. One to test my ultimate skills. Yeah, but for now I'm gonna go do literally anything other than suffering through a deep open challenge. Subscribe or else.